Hey everyone, it's Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker, and in this video I'll be teaching you how to install Linux as a virtual machine. Alright, so you see I have CentOS up, but you don't have to use just CentOS, you can use Ubuntu or any other Linux-based system. So uh, basically, a virtual machine is where you can run it within your operating system, so you don't have to um, partition your hard drive or uh, reinstall your operating system or anything like that. It will save our data every single time we use it and we don't have to worry about uh, losing our data. It stores it on our hard drive in a virtual machine. So if you want more detailed instructions, I do have a blog over this I created, uh, calebcurry.com forward slash installing hyphen Linux hyphen as blah blah blah. Yeah, you get it. So uh, just check out my blogs on there. But for now, uh, we will want to download VMware. So you will want to go to this link right here. And uh, if you aren't already, be sure to watch this in full screen, um, max resolution, so you can see everything clearly. We are at www.vmware.com forward slash products forward slash player. Now, um, when you get to the page, it'll look something like this. It changes occasionally, but you just scroll down and look for free for personal use, and you click download. It'll bring you to this page, right? So uh, the one that you want, uh, you will want it for the operating system that you are running currently. So I'm running Windows. You don't want you don't want it for the operating system you're going to install or anything like that. So yeah, Windows 32-bit and 64-bit, and just click download, and that will start downloading. The other thing you need is what's known as an ISO, which is used to um, write onto optical discs. So it's how you create DVDs and so forth. But we can use this ISO. Um, to create a virtual machine. I canceled that because I already have it downloaded and I don't need to download that again. So uh, we'll just use uh, CentOS, so centos.org forward slash download. Click download now. And it'll bring to a bunch of mirrors. You can just click one, whatever really works. And then it, that will start downloading as well. It's a pretty big file, so uh, give it some time. So once those are finished downloading, you will want to open them and run them. Uh, I created a shortcut on the desktop just for simplicity's sake, but if you need to find the file, check your downloads folder or wherever it downloaded to, and then just open it. We will install VMware Player first, and a window will pop up, user account control, just click yes. Alright, so you just go through the process, pretty easy, yeah, be sure to read all this, it's good stuff, especially the ending. All right, the location of installation, uh, yours will most likely be uh, C colon forward slash, possibly, I don't know, but I am on a second partition, so it's labeled G. Next, um, I'm not going to check for product updates, extra work. Uh, I'm not going to help improve anything. And then I'm not going to make any of this stuff either. So you can if you want, but that's up to you. Continue and just let that install. Boom, done. And then you just click finish. Once it's finished installing, we can find the file location of VMware player which should be in program files x86 VMware VMware player and then you will want to look for vmplayer.exe this window will come up from here you want to click create a new virtual machine and we're not installing from a disk we're actually installing from a file that we downloaded the image file so you will want to find the CentOS or CentOS ISO so here it is and then you open it and you click next, and then you can just make a full name if you want. Oops. Alright, Caleb Curry. Caleb Curry. And then once you have all that, you click next. And okay, I already have one. So I, was, I was obviously messing around with this earlier, so we'll just click next. So, um, yeah, you can name your CentOS, but, I mean, like I said, I've, I already installed this once, so I'm just going to name CentOS 2. And then we can give it some a file size for, like, how, many fi uh, how much size this virtual machine has. And I'm not really going to use it for much, so I'll just give it, like, 4. But I'm sure you, and I'll give it, like, 7. I'm sure you might need more than that. So, yes, all right, I'm just going to keep it like how it is and then finish and here's all of our removable devices we can just X out of that all 
All right, now this will come up. Do you want to install uh, VMware Tools Easy Install? I'm sorry, this is, this is a good, you want to click Download Install because we want to use the Easy Install. Otherwise, it will not complete. So I just click Download and Install, which will take a couple years. And a user account control, just click Yes. La, 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 la. All right, so I'm just going to uh, pause it while all of this does its work. All right, once that gets all done, like loading and junk, it'll keep going through a bunch of these processes and it takes a while uh, but I do want to mention something while we're waiting when you click on this your mouse kind of goes away and you can get out of that by pressing uh, control and alt at the same time so now I'm controlling my desktop when I click on it I'm controlling the virtual machine desktop virtual machine desktop virtual machine desktop okay yeah you get the point all right, as you can see, things just uh, finished installing, so you can just click your username there and put your password in. Log in. Give it a couple hours again, as usual. Uh, this does take a while, so you do have to be patient. All right, so this is now your official uh, virtual machine of CentOS. So we can move this around and we can uh, record, obviously, on a Windows computer. So just like a normal computer, we can ac access all the stuff. We can do things on this. And when we put stuff on here, if, for example, if we went to the Internet and downloaded a photo, well, when we X out of this, everything's going to stay the same. So that is how you uh, install an operating system as a virtual machine. So uh, what we can do from here, there's some other options, for example, Oh, we could exit, obviously, and suspending is sort of like sleeping or whatever, powering off is turning it off. So I'm just going to turn it off. It takes a while. When we launch the actual program again, vmplayer.exe, we now have CentOS over here and it has information about that. We can also install a new virtual machine, such as Ubuntu or whatever you have, really. We can open a virtual machine that is already created from, your, like, either if you have this on another computer, you can put it on a hard drive, bring it to this computer, and so forth. You can do a lot of things, but once you just need to reopen it, you just double-click it, and it will uh, start right where you left off in the last time. It will boot up like a normal computer, and everything will be saved to your hard drive. But through this virtual machine, it seems like another computer. So hopefully that all makes sense. And um, once again, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment. So yeah, that that um, all that information is also available on my blog on my website. Oh, that's trippy. Check that out. All right. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.